Hey everyone, and welcome back to Precious Presents Performing Arts. I know that you are going to love this episode because it is all about directing. And don't worry, I know a few of you may be thinking, Precious, I mean, this seems really cool and I am super excited, but uh, what do directors actually do? Hang on to that thought, because in just a second, I'm going to go in depth all about this very important job. But I want to remind everyone, just before we get started, to subscribe to the Little News Ears YouTube channel and to find the Little News Ears podcast. This regularly scheduled programming is now interrupted for breaking news. Marvel's Ironheart is currently in production. This beloved character from the comics is now entering the MCU. It's going to be a blockbuster, so make sure to check it out. 1,500 members of the Writers Guild of America signed the pledge to cover animation work. And Blackish Farewell Season, season eight, is now streaming on Disney Plus. I know we've all seen that TV show or movie or even play and just thought, this is incredible. Everyone works together, the actors, the hair, the wardrobe, the lighting, everyone just really came together and told this incredible story in such a beautiful way. That brings me back to my original question. What does the director actually do? Here, I'm going to be covering three different types of directors. Film directors, TV directors, and directors for theater. So let's get into it. Action. And fun fact, directors are not actually the people who do this. They do call action though. Okay, now let's really get into it. In film, directors are one of the people with the most creative control. They work with every department to lead the film, such as actors, makeup, wardrobe, lighting, even music, as well as all the crew and technical aspects. They make sure that every department's work works together to tell the same story in a collaborative way. Some specific tasks of the director include working with the cinematographer to develop shot lists and storyboards and, quoting Crash Course, giving the actors clear and actionable directions. They must create a safe space by establishing trust. In TV, directors have many similarities to film directors, but also a few differences. Directors in TV meet with producers to plan filming schedules and direct actors on set. They also help to develop the script and the storyboards and hire the cast and crew. However, different than film, TV directors have less creative control as the TV writers have a lot more. Are you ready for a quick trivia round? Okay, so I'm gonna ask three questions about directing. Just make sure to keep track of your answers so at the end, you can see how many you got right. Number one, who directed The Color Purple, 1985? A, Steven Spielberg or B, Spike Lee. Number two, can directors win Academy Awards for the Oscars, Tonys, or Emmys? And number three, can directors work on documentaries? Feel free to rewind that if you need to hear me say it another time or want a little extra time to decide on your answer. Ready for the answers? Number one's answer is A. The answer to question number two is absolutely. And number three's answer is yes. How many did you get right? And last, but definitely not least, is theater. Directing for theater is actually quite different than directing for TV or film. Theater directors, for instance, can join the production at any stage. 
but they usually begin their journey by casting. Directors usually cast by auditions, but sometimes by invitations. The casting process also helps directors to get a feel for the show. Once casting is over and rehearsals are in process, the director's main objective is to find ways to tell the story the best of all the tools they're given, such as lighting, hair, wardrobe, makeup, acting, projection, according to Melb Theatre Co. They must really find a way to get everyone moving in the same direction. And just like directors for TV or film, theater directors also really have to establish a strong sense of trust, not only between the actors and the directors, but between everyone. The entire production team must work together to be sure that everyone can show up as their best every time that they go to perform. The show's live, so the show must go on, and you wanna make sure that the story and the show is told very smoothly and goes well. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode and maybe even learned something new. Be sure to come back next month to check out my new episode. And in the meantime, be sure to check out all of my other Precious Presents Performing Arts episodes on the Little News Ears YouTube channel and anywhere that you listen to the Little News Ears podcast. Well, until next time, may your sweetness shine and your colors glow.